If you want to learn SQL or work on MySQL database projects, then you must have MySQL database server installed and running on your computer. Hi, my name is Pradhyan Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will step by step learn how to download and install MySQL 8 database server on a computer running Windows 10 operating system. Let's get started. On Windows 10 operating system, open the web browser and enter mysql.com. This is the official website of MySQL 8 database. Click the downloads menu to open the downloads page. On the downloads page, scroll down and you will find MySQL Community GPL Downloads link. GPL means General Public License. Click the link to open MySQL Community Downloads page. There are various MySQL products, but for MySQL 8 database server installation, we need MySQL Community Server. Go ahead and click the link. On MySQL Community Server download page, at the time of recording of this video, the latest MySQL version is MySQL 8.0.32. Go to MySQL installer for Windows link. If you find a new version here, you can either download the latest available version or you can click this archives tab. Select the product version. For operating system option, select Microsoft Windows and you get the MSI download links for MySQL 8 installer. You can download the one with large file size. Here in this tutorial, I will go with the latest release. So I will press back button to go to the MySQL community downloads page. Under select operating system, make sure Microsoft Windows is selected. Here you can see there are two MSI installer files. The MSI means Microsoft Windows installer. It's a standard installer package for Windows operating system. From these two installers, the first one with a small file size is MySQL downloader and installer package, while the second one with a large file size contains all the files required for the installation. So download the one with a large file size, click the download button. If you want, you can sign up for an Oracle web account. This is an optional step. So I will skip the sign up window by clicking this. No thanks, just start my download link. And save the file to my computer. To save some time, I already have downloaded the file in my downloads folder. So I will cancel this download and go to my downloads folder. Now let's start with the MySQL installation. Double click the MySQL installer file. Press the yes button to continue. It would take less than a minute to extract files. Again press yes to launch the installer. Now the installer has been started. The first step is choosing a setup type. On this window there are 5 different setup types. Here you can select the setup type and in the setup type description you can read more about a selected setup type. The developer default type will install all MySQL products for development. The products like MySQL Server, MySQL Shell, MySQL Router, MySQL Workbench and so on. The server only option will install only MySQL Server while client only option will install MySQL client products used to connect to MySQL Server. The products like MySQL Shell, MySQL Router, MySQL Workbench and so on. The full install type will install all the products and features available with this installer. We will select a custom type of setup so that we can customize the products and the path for MySQL. Click next. Here on the select products window on the left side column, we have 
available products for the installation. Click the plus sign in front of MySQL servers under MySQL server and MySQL server 8.0. Select MySQL server 8.0.32. If you do not see MySQL server products here, then most probably the new version isn't available for your configuration. In that case, you will have to cancel this installation and download the previous table release from the archives page we saw earlier. Alright, once you select the MySQL server here, Make sure you click this green right arrow button which will include the selected software in the installation. Follow the same steps for Applications, MySQL Workbench, MySQL Workbench 8.0 and select MySQL Workbench 8.0.32 and click the right green arrow button. Similarly, if you want to exclude an application from the installation, select it from this right hand side window and click this left arrow button and the application will not be installed. I will include the MySQL Workbench application once again and click the next button. Depending on pre-installed softwares, you may or may not require to install other essential softwares. In my case, I need to install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. I will select the application and click this execute button. Select I agree checkbox and click install button to install the required software and close the window. Once the required software is installed, click the next button. Now the setup is ready to install the selected products that is MySQL Server 8.0.32 and MySQL Workbench 8.0.32. Click the execute button. It will take a couple of minutes or less to complete the installation. If both products are installed successfully, you will get the status here as complete. Click next and now we are on the MySQL product configuration window where we can set up MySQL port number, root user password and much more. Click next to start the configuration. On type and networking window under config type, the development computer uses a minimum amount of memory. Server and dedicated computer options are mainly used for web servers. So select the development computer option. Some applications or computers use IP address and port number to connect to remote host for data exchange. By default, MySQL uses a port number 3306. In case you already have installed MySQL server on your computer, you will see a yellow mark over here. It means the port number 3306 is already in use. In that case, you can change the port number to something other than 3306. You can use a port number like 3307. If you don't see a yellow mark, you can keep the default port number 3306. In my case, port number 3306 is available, so I will keep the default value. All other options are fine. Click next. The new MySQL 8 version by default uses SHA-256 encryption method to encrypt and store database user passwords. Using SHA-256 encryption is more secure compared to the previous versions of MySQL. The use of legacy authentication method is suggested only if you want to make this installation compatible with MySQL 5 version. In our case, we don't need MySQL 5 compatibility, so I will use the default password encryption method and click next. Please note this is very important step so pay all your attention. Just like operating system installation we create a new user or administrator who will be using that operating system. In case of MySQL by default it creates a username called root user. The root user is an administrator and has all the privileges of MySQL database. So we must use a strong password. And most importantly, remember the password or note it down somewhere. In my case, I will use a simple password. But in your case, make sure to use a combination of letters, numbers and special characters. You can add additional users from this following section. We will learn more about adding 
new users and setting privileges in a separate tutorial so i will click cancel and click next to continue the windows service option creates a new windows service instance with the given name make sure the start the mysql server at startup checkbox is checked so that mysql server starts automatically when your operating system is started if you uncheck this option every time when you have to use mysql server you will have to manually start the mysql server from windows services the default option for run windows service as is fine click next the mysql installer will secure the data directory at the following location so give the installer full access to the directory keep the default yes option and click next now the installer is ready to apply the configuration settings we selected in previous steps click the execute button to apply the configuration settings it will take a couple of minutes or less to apply the settings click finish button and we can see the configuration complete message here click next uncheck this start mysql workbench after setup option and finally click this finish button to complete the installation process here we successfully completed the mysql database server installation now let's open the mysql server to confirm if it works click the start menu select all apps mysql and click the mysql 80 command line client option please note here you need to enter the mysql database password you set up during installation enter the password i will enter my root user password if you see this mysql prompt then congratulations you are successfully logged in to your mysql database server here we can execute sql statements Let me execute a couple of SQL statements to confirm MySQL database is working fine. Type show databases semicolon and press enter. This SQL statement lists all databases in MySQL. Create a new database using create database pn tutorials semicolon here PN Tutorials is the name of the database we are going to create. You can create a database name of your choice. Press enter. Press up arrow key to display previously executed commands and select show databases command and sure enough our database was created successfully. Here we can confirm that our MySQL database was installed successfully and working without any issue. I will type exit and press enter to log out of root user account. Here in this video tutorial we step by step learn how to download and install MySQL database server on a computer running Windows 10 operating system I hope you understood the installation steps given in this video tutorial Now it's your time try the MySQL installation steps on your Windows 10 operating system If you encounter installation errors or didn't understand something Feel free to ask me questions in the comment section of this video. Finally, if you like this video tutorial, press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.